Welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Yes. I took a big old mouthful of salad before I started the show. So I, I gotta clear things out. Hey, Jeanette! Mmm. Oh. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me on another Friday night for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Welcome to my kitchen. It's time to get started with another great recipe. Now, I told you, I hope I don't lose that. Let me straighten up the camera here um, and clear up my mouth, rude. So we're getting salsa tonight. Yes, so I've had uh, quite a few people asking me about um, doing a sauce show because when I do um, recipes or pasta dishes or, hey, Kelvin, <laughs> my number one supporter after my parents. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Crystal. Hi, welcome everybody. Yes, my <laughs> thank you, my love. Hey, Alex. Yeah, I'm I'm here Friday night doing it again. So uh, as I was saying, we've had several people asking about. Hey, Crystal, <laughs> asking about my sauces. So I never use like jar sauces and there's some good jar sauces out there at your local grocer, you know, they're pretty good. I just make mine from scratch. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Alfredo sauce tonight. Yes, this Alfredo sauce is so versatile. You can use it in pasta. Hey, Teresa. Hi, Terry. <laughs> you can put it on pasta. You can put uh, drizzle it on some vegetables. You can use it as a dip. You can, what else can you do with this uh, Alfredo sauce? Probably several things, but tonight I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, and then if you are like me, um, you make a big batch of it and just put it in a nice little mason jar, stick it back in the fridge, and then you've got like lots of it to like, I pour it over my salmon if I'm doing like a grilled salmon or broiled or something like that. I just pour it on, honey, it just makes things extra fancy. Yes. So we're going to get into this saucy Alfredo recipe tonight. Ready? Let's go. All right. So I've already got my, um, I want to get one of my little pots here kind of hot. I'm going to, I may not saute my vegetables in that, but I want you to get your pen or pencil and notepad ready and write this stuff down. Okay, because I don't I don't write recipes. I should, but I don't. Uh, that may give me another stream of income if I do start writing them down. So, uh, somebody write this down for me tonight. What you gonna need for your saucy Alfredo sauce tonight? Heavy cream. Any brand you want. It all came from the same cow. Uh, real Parmesan cheese. I don't like that um, stuff in the glass jar that it gets you a, a nice little block of real Parmesan cheese. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Okay. Cream cheese. We're not going to use the whole thing, but we are going to use a little bit. This is going to add extra creaminess to your saucy Alfredo sauce, all right? I've got, 
Yeah, I've got lemons and limes in there, but I'm not going to use that. It's, it's just for effect. Like that. That's all. Uh, but we are going to use some tomatoes. So I already diced <laughs> some of those up already. All right. Now, I'm going to start to uh, take some of this stuff out of here. Because I don't need all that. I already got my tomatoes diced up. I may add a little more tomato. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right. Just stick with me. We're going to... We're going to get this recipe just right. Okay. So what I was doing, I already, um, I did boil some, what you call it? Five cheese ravioli, the stuffed ravioli. So I've got that. We're going to drizzle our, uh, Alfredo sauce over the ravioli. Instead of adding meat to my dish, I'm going to use... Oyster mushroom. Yeah, look at how pretty those fins are. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait. I cut off the base already and it is so squeaky clean. I'm going to just kind of tear it up a little bit. I ain't going to worry about using a knife for it. I'm going to just tear it up a little bit, throw it in my Alfredo sauce, and this will serve as my meat in my sauce. But with this Alfredo sauce, you can add chicken. You can leave it plain so that you can pour on other things. Or you can add bacon, um, prosciutto, um, chicken, <laughs> uh, crab meat, lobster. Yes, all of that. You can add any of those things to your Alfredo sauce. But tonight we're going to do it plain because I'm going to show you how to do it simple and by just adding a couple other ingredients so first things first we're gonna get our saucepan hot our little i'm gonna turn it so you can see what i'm doing so i'm gonna turn it all the way up get it nice and hot of course i'm gonna start it off with some olive oil of course because i bathe in the stuff and we're gonna add some butter i've got some spreadable butter that i'm gonna add to it um, I hope somebody is writing this down. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we might do like a tablespoon of butter and then we just going to drizzle some olive oil. I don't know how much. Okay. We just going to play it by ear. All right. Okay. Yeah. But if you're just joining me, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live here on Facebook every Friday, unless I say otherwise, at 7 o'clock. All right. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is, of course, at... What? Come here. So you've been watching my show every Friday and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel? I need you to do that pronto. Like the video, subscribe, and then click the bell. And then share. Yes, it's easy. Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. People do it today. And Instagram, of course. I usually put these videos on IGTV. And you can catch me on Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online. That's it. Okay? Let's get cooking, good looking. My pot is getting hot. I'm going to go ahead and add, turn that down a little bit. I don't want the olive oil to smoke because I'm going to use a nice, robust olive oil. I don't want it to smoke. Hey, Vicky. Look at my cousin. Hey, D. Hey, Keisha. Guys, thank y'all so much. Thank you. Can you share this video with, with friends and loved ones? And... And get them to watch. Yeah. If, if they're not Facebook frequenters, maybe they're Instagram cruisers. Like, get them on it. YouTube subscribers. Pass it on. Tell your people what we're doing over here. We're eating good in the neighborhood. 
So all I'm doing is I just coated the bottom of the pan with olive oil. I don't know how much that was, but it's it's thoroughly coated. All right. A little more than a tablespoon of butter. And my onions. Oh, I forgot to do my garlic. Let me do that real fast, okay? Cut my garlic. Tonight, it is an easy Alfredo sauce that you can use to zhuzh up just about any meal, baby. All right? So, I just don't want to, okay, there we go, there we go. You didn't want to cooperate. Oh, Lord. I'm going to just do about three cloves of this garlic. Smash. 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 Okay? Do that smash technique on your garlic with the skin on. And once you smash, it becomes easier to take the skin off. Okay? So I'm just going to toss that in there. I'm not even going to worry about dicing it so much tonight because I really want the essence of that garlic there we go oh 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 yes it's already smelling lovely all right so I want to uh, put the rest, I'm going to reserve the rest of that. I may want to add some garlic later on. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to just keep it simple, stupid. Put that in there. Uh-oh. Losing my bulbs. All right. Let me clean up a little bit here. I love a nice, clean working space. Always important. Okay, so get, uh, now that I've got my, you can't really see, but let me, let me just, I'm going to bring you along. The garlic and onions are starting to sweat a little bit. I don't need them to brown. I just want them to kind of sweat out. So now I'm going to add some salt. Is this salt? Yes. I had sugar up there too, so I had to make sure it was actually salt. <laughs> so that's a, a teaspoon of salt. I always start with a teaspoon. Teaspoon is safe. If you need to add more later on as you taste and you go, oh, this could use just a little bit more flavor, then add a little bit more. But always start with the least amount first. A honey like me got to watch her blood pressure, so I can't afford to be adding too much salt. I got to start small. As I go, well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Ooh, we. Alfredo tonight. Hi, Danny. <laughs> oh, hey, Uncle Will. Yes, Uncle Will, y'all. If, if you haven't checked him out, you better listen to those nuggets, honey. Let me tell you. Um, William Jermaine Laurie, Uncle Will, is on Facebook. He's also on Instagram. It's PTG, Permission to Be Great. Yes. You've got permission. Go right on ahead. Be great. Check out Uncle Will. Yes! He is doing the thing. I'm so proud of, of my people. Oh, my classmates and cousins. and No, everybody just seems to really be... Um, now I'm going to add the diced tomatoes that I have. Really be... Um, 
finding their element, finding their voice and their lane and, and doing great things. And I couldn't be happier. So keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, man. When y'all come to Charlotte, I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> he told my stop it. I'm serious. Y'all come to Charlotte, I need for y'all to DM me so I can, like, cook for you or something. Like, it would be my honor. For real. Yeah, and, and be on the show and uh, let's just talk about the things that you're doing and how we're making a change in this world, honey. Because um, wherever you are, you can be the difference. Doesn't have to be some gargantuan feat. But wherever you are, you can make a difference. Yes. Just saying. Okay, so now I've got the onions, the garlic, and the tomato incorporated. They are sweating. I don't know if you can see all of that. Right there? Honey, they are married. They done consummated this marriage. It's, it's ready to go. Now for the fun part. This is where we add, hey Ty! <laughs> yes, we coming and girl, you are making a difference. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. Some days it feel like, mm, you know, you have those days where it's like you you moving and then other days it's like you got your feet stuck in concrete blocks. Some days it's like that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna let you see what's happening. Now keep that pot high. You're gonna pour this entire, this is 16 ounces of heavy cream. Get the heavy cream. It'll it'll cream up for you a lot faster than the light cream. Oh, did I mention it was a recipe for people with lactose intolerance? No, I didn't. Cause it's not. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna. <laughs> it really is not. This is cream and butter and cheese, boo. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bring that back up. I'm going to show you in just a little bit, but right now, this is the part where I'm going to take my oyster mushroom and I'm going to start to... Do I want to do this now? Uh-uh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the cheese first, okay? Sometimes I have to talk myself through these things because I make it up as I go. Got my little whisk. Let's get that going. Okay, here's a tip. Are you keeping notes? Okay. You don't want your cream to boil because it'll start to curdle and it won't give you that nice velvety finish on your food. You don't want that. Okay, so don't let it boil. You're just going to simmer it low and... With your whisk, just stir. It takes love and patience to do these recipes, honey. I'm telling you. I ain't no joke. It, yeah. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to taste this. Mmm. That is, that's pretty good. So in, add a little more salt. You see, I can add a little more salt because I started with a, a very small amount. I started with a teaspoon. All right, so if you're just tuning in, hey, Anwar, <laughs> I've been watching Meat and I, Meat and I doing that long distance training, y'all. Keep it going, brother and sister. Keep it going. I'm living vicariously through you. I need to be imitating you. <laughs> but I think that what you guys are doing is phenomenal. So awesome, awesome work. Um, that's my homeboy from Stillman College. 
Yes, his lovely lady uh, and he are doing a, they do like a, a workout challenge together. And they have a YouTube page called Meet and I. M-E-T-E -E and I. That's, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we promote everybody in that hood. Mm-hmm. Show up. <laughs> Still stirring. Now, if you're just tuning in to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, thank you so much. Make sure you go to, um, on Monday, I will have this video posted to IGTV at Sugar Pearls underscore online and YouTube at Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe s and of course my website which is www.sugarbrillsonline.com tonight we're getting saucy yes and tonight's sauce is a nice beautiful velvety alfredo i didn't forget about the cream cheese don't worry i'm gonna add that in a little bit hold on um, but for those people who are just coming on, I got to let them know what we started with. So we started our pan with some olive oil and some butter. Then we added our onions and garlic and some diced tomatoes. Let that sweat out until it got tender. Then we poured in 16 ounces of heavy cream. And <laughs> honey, now we just stir. <laughs> Yes, we are stirring, stirring for dear life, because stirring is important for this recipe. Um, you want to make sure you don't have clumps and lumps, and I don't like using um, imitation Parmesan cheese or anything like that. It gives, it, it makes it gritty and nasty. You don't want that. But for a beautiful velvety Alfredo sauce, do it just like I'm teaching you tonight. All right? And I don't want to hear about, I can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. So, okay. So, this is doing what I wanted to do. I'm starting to see small bubbles. It's not boiling, but it's got small bubbles. So, it's at a simmer right now. And this is exactly what I want. So, I'm going to turn that down to low I'm gonna get my parmesan cheese ready and then we're going to um add our cream cheese to the recipe all right go on and invest in a, in a nice block of real parmesan cheese ain't but three dollars or something just going to invest in it. Um, I might end up using the whole thing. But at first, I just want to... I just want to introduce the Parmesan to the, to the sauce first. Okay? I don't want to overwhelm it. I just want it to be like... Hey girl, how you doing? What's up? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, sliding your DM to see, you know, what's good. That's, that's what we did with the Parmesan cheese in, in here. Yeah, just sliding in DM, that's all. Mm-hmm, and stir, stir, stir. Just keep on stirring. Don't get distracted. Keep stirring. Yes, yes, yes. Parmesan, um, I did the Parmesan chow. Now for the cream cheese. Okay. So you, I got me a little fillies. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Mm-hmm. I'm not adding meat to this tonight. I'm just going to do um the oyster mushrooms damn i lost one 
it's a live show, so live-ish happens, and I can't be like, cut! Production, cut! I, I can't do that. Like, I gotta keep going. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's the oyster mushroom that we're gonna put in there a little bit later. Okay, so stir, stir, stir. And make sure it's low. Don't boil this thing. Cause um, oh yes. It's starting to cream up. Oh you don't want no plumpy. Lumpy. Okay, there's my cream cheese. One for the father, one for the son. One for the Holy Ghost. And one because he loves me the most. Yeah, sonny. Mm-hmm. I know. I just come up with these things. I know. <laughs> stir 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 all right okay so now we got the cream cheese in there it's starting to marry with all the other ingredients plus the parmesan cheese that done slid on in there now the parmesan cheese you know it's it's kind of like the star of the show when it comes to Alfredo. So, you know, Parmesan cheese might slide up in the DM, you know, for the first couple of times. But after that, you know, they want a commitment. So we just give it a little more. <laughs> Commit. Promise you I'm not speaking about my life. more 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 oh my gosh when I tell you this is the best get yourself a real block of Parmesan cheese it goes a long way super flavorful it makes sure um, especially if you're doing an alfredo sauce it, it just makes it more authentic you don't want to start off with a a good sauce base and then throw some old powdered parmesan in there don't do that don't i will cut you off i will oh so now what we have going is a nice silky can, can you see i know it, it's kind of hard but i'm gonna show you in a little bit see how it's sticking to the thing now it's not all running off see that's cream yes cream oh god that made me think of a song cash rules everything around me cream dollar dollar bills y'all sorry throwback to to my my hip-hop childhood don't mind me Oyster mushroom. This is our meat for tonight. Okay. Just kind of peel it off the stem. I want those beautiful horned pieces going in there. Oh, I'm so excited. And you should be too because this is something that you can do tonight with just a few simple ingredients. It's not super expensive, but, you know, you do want to have quality ingredients. Like I said, don't skip on the cheese. Don't skip on the uh, cream cheese, Parmesan. And uh, if you if you wanted to do salmon, you could flake some salmon in there. Or you could just poach your salmon on top and just drizzle your Alfredo sauce on top of that. I know giving you all these ideas and I'm continuing to stir 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 all right I'm gonna let you see how beautiful this is in just a second and let me tell you this might have been the shortest show I have done 
Now, hold on. It can't be over. It can't be over. It can't be over. No. No, 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 no. I don't want it to be over. It's Dana. Now, I did not make my stuffed ravioli. I bought it. But it's a really good ravioli. It's got the five cheese inside. And, um, yeah. I'm, I'm only going to make a very small, like a tapas almost. Um, and then I'll do another plating so I can take my picture tonight. You know, you've been watching this show long enough to know how I do, boo. Okay. All right. Let me show you what we've got here. Ready? Oh, Lord. I know. See? That, that was cream. And you have whipped it into a nice, saucy goodness that is out of this world that you would probably pay I don't know $18 uh, at your local Italian restaurant somewhere maybe I'm gonna rough chop a little bit of parsley this will be my garnish when I get ready to plate mm, mm, mm. It's going to be good, good, good. Oh, I'm so, let me tell you. Um, This, oh, man. You know what I want to do? Watch me kick it up a notch. It ain't over until God says it's over. And uh, I think he might want me to add a little bit of white wine to this dish. Okay. I know. All right. I got some church folks that watch. And, you know, y'all... You you don't you don't want the white wine in there, or you you probably do and just don't want nobody to know you do. Uh, that's fine. But for this dish, we gonna add just a little bit, and I'm not gonna add all of this, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of white wine. Now, normally, what I would have done is kind of fried out the um, vegetables with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on in there. Now we've made white wine cream sauce. Boom! Yeah. Uh, amen. Mm -hmm. Stir it on in there. I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to let some of the steam come off of the wine. So it ain't going to be... Now, now we got a boozy sauce. I'm so proud of myself right now. I really am. Because this, it, let me just show you. Come on. Until I get a camp, camera operator, you got to deal with me. So come on. Here you go. Boom. Look at that. Let me, let me get a, um, a spoon. Yes. Did you see that or was my camera off? Was that good? Was was it good? Did it make you want some? Because that's the point. Yes, you, you have to want it when you see it. Mm-hmm. Yes. We done made our Alfredo sauce into a white wine. Alfredo. Just like that. Honey. When I tell you, I'm just thankful for the gift of creativity. And the 
thankful that I had some white wine because I don't drink white wine. So it's a good thing I had some here because that, that was miraculous how that happened. Mm. I mean, that was like Jesus at the wedding miraculous. Like, pfft. yes, like that. Oh my gosh. But this is almost the end of our show. I'm going to plate this. Don't worry. I'm going to do all of that. But um, I just wanted to um, make sure that I really come on and just say thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For um, every time I... <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my ritual. I won't tell you all of it, but a little bit about my ritual um, before I start the show. I'm always extremely nervous, um, but I always pray and ask God to just allow me to just have fun, allow the people who are watching to have fun, allow me to be my best creative self on the show. So that is my prayer. But I always get like these butterflies because I'm so like, I'm like, oh my God, like, what if I mess up? And then when I finally hit start to go live, it all disappears. It's like, now I'm just, I'm just flowing. And I'm doing, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot that, you know, I need to do better. <laughs> but you are here for it. And that makes me super happy. So thank you. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. Um, I listen to NPR all the time. I don't listen to the radio. haven't since I stopped doing radio, like... I'm, I'm sick of the same, like, I can predict everything that's going to happen on the urban radio station, so I don't listen to it. Um, but NPR, that's good for my brain. So I was listening to a show on NPR uh, the day before yesterday. I'm going to keep stirring. I want to make sure this cheese does not stick. I can turn it off now. And uh, there was a, uh, a woman from, Ch I want to say China, but I can't remember if she was from China or Korea. But um, one of the things she says that she talks to her employees about, especially when they're feeling like... Um, the revenue is not going to be there or the business is not going to, you know, soar to its highest heights. The thing she tells them is confidence builds, no, good times, good times, good times builds confidence, good times build confidence, but hard times. Hard times build character. So whatever your path, wherever you are, remember, as I said, it doesn't have to be some gigantic feat, but you can make an enormous difference wherever you are. Those good times, that'll propel you to do more. And then when those hard times come, it's like, ugh. What do I do now? Do you cave? Do you fold? Do you snap on the people that you love? Do you treat people like they don't have any worth in your life? Or do those hard times build character? So this week, that has really like been the mantra in my head, the prayer in my mind that no matter what I go through, the good times 
and the hard time. Yes, may they always, always build my character and strengthen me. Um, Cause we all love a good celebration, honey. Everybody loves a winner. Yes. But who are you when you're not? That's my nugget for tonight. Let's get to plating. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah, just, just a good old piece of wisdom, child. Who are you when you're not winning? Grandma used to say, every day ain't going to be Sunday. She was right. <laughs> every day ain't Sunday, child. So who are you in those hard, dark times? This is my ravioli. I already cooked it up and it's cooled off a little bit, but it's still kind of warm. So I'm going to sit it down on my plizate. Now I'm sizzling. I'm going to do four. I'm going to do four for now. All right. And are we ready? We're, we're ready to play. Boo. I can't believe it. All right. Our white wine. I almost couldn't say it. Our white wine cream sauce is ready. Let me show you. With our oyster mushroom sauce. Ooh. Child. Girl. If you don't go somewhere with this um $20 plate. Girl. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm going to show you. Hold on. You know I got to clean up my plate first, though. So. Yes. Baby. We, and you know what? We, we ain't even gonna overdo it with the plating tonight. You know, I might be a little extra sometime, but this right here speaks for itself. So I don't need to do a whole lot of extra with my pepper. Give me a little black pepper. Ba-bam! Thank you, Kelvin. I love you. I really, really do. And I thank you so much. Kelvin is always like one of the first people to like, like and love and tune in to my crazy shenanigans. Like, he's here for it. And I thank all of you so, so much. This is dinner tonight. Look at this masterpiece. Don't call me now. Mm. That's my son. Of course he would call now. <laughs> I'm going to call him back. I promise you. That's dinner, y'all. That is your Alfredo sauce. Mm, correction. Your white wine Alfredo sauce with oyster mushroom over cheese stuffed ravioli. Baby. Um, mm hmm. That's, that's it. Okay. You can do this. Okay. That's your white wine Alfredo sauce. I'm going to just dip my little ravioli in it a little bit. Mm. 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 And with the oyster mushroom, I'm not missing the meat. It's like meat. 
Did I just lick my fork? And I did. I forgot I was actually doing a show. Mm. You can do this. I believe in you. But if you can't, hire me. I'll do it for you. <laughs> yes, honey. Another episode of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live, baby. Yes. Friday nights, 7 o'clock. What have you been missing? Come on, tune in. Now, when you get off with me tonight, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell your friends to subscribe. Sugar Pearls, that's it. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And you can go to Instagram, which is Sugar Pearls underscore online. And of course, my website, where I have all the videos, all the pictures, anything posted up there for you, baby. At www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Remember, I love you, boo. And I hope you love me back.